If you've been following my channel for a while now, you know that I absolutely love Fika. And not just the coffee and the treats and all the sweets, but the concept of just being able to slow down and enjoy the little things in life. But let's be honest, the sweets are pretty important too. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about five of my favorite places in Stockholm to get Fika. From places with Stockholm's best coffee, trendy Instagram spots, and even Stockholm's oldest cafe, it's all gonna be in this video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. This first place we're going to have Fika today is actually in the same building where I work. This place is uh, actually really, really famous, I think, on Instagram and stuff. They have these red croissants that are super good, red velvet croissants, and I highly recommend checking them out, but I went on a Saturday this weekend and there was a line out the door. This place is super popular, but they also have very, very tasty Fika treats. On the inside of Mr. Cake, you have a very clean and modern interior. And although they have a lot of good treats to choose from, you already know what I had to go with. So one of the things I didn't realize, these things are like super big. I can barely fit it in my mouth. And it's got this like red powder on there. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's really tasty. It's like the red velvet flavor, but uh, I was stupid for not getting a napkin. This is it's good though. This next place is called Tossa Bakery, and it was also super busy on Saturday, to be honest. This bakery is a bit older and it has more of an old-fashioned vibe on the inside, but their fika treats are extremely good. The fika treat that I think this bakery is most known for is the Semla wrap. Now in Sweden, between New Year's and Easter, they have these fika treats that are called Semla, which are extremely good. They have a creamy almond filling, and this place put a new spin on the semla by inventing a treat with the semla flavors in the shape of a wrap and they do it extremely well. Another bakery that has a really innovative way of looking at the semlas is the Magnus Johansson Bakery. Here you can find hamburger semlas, chocolate semlas, and a whole lot of other semlas that are really, really tasty. They also have some really good pastries at this bakery. So what's next on this Fika adventure? How about some good coffee? So this coffee bar that we're going to, Johan and Nystrom, they actually won the coffee bar of the year in 2018. So they are a really good one. They have several locations around Stockholm. The one we're going to is uh, pretty much in the downtown slash Ulstermalm area. So really centrally located and they're known for having really good coffee. Johan and Nystrom also has a very clean and modern interior and a very friendly staff. I don't want to go into too much detail about this cafe because I'm having a fan meetup in this location. So if you want to see me try this coffee, be sure to stay tuned on the channel because I'm going to be vlogging the entire fan meetup and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, I'd like to mention now that if you are not following me on Instagram, be sure to do that so that you don't miss up on future fan meetups and cool events like this. Now that I've showed you three of my favorite bakeries in the Ulstermalm and downtown areas of Stockholm, I think it's time to take it to the Old Town, one of the most touristy destinations in the entire city, but they have some excellent cozy places for some old-fashioned fika. So here in Gamlestan, we have a very like touristy, but very, very cozy fika place, uh, Cafe Kopen. I've been there many times, very cozy vibes. You can see they're like renovating the buildings right now, so it doesn't usually look like fake like this. Uh, but yeah, this place is super cozy. I do recommend it if you're just in Gamastan, in this famous square, and you just want to get a traditional Swedish fika, it's a good place to go. So you guys can see this one behind me, Espresso House is like a really popular chain in here in the Nordic countries. Uh, they have them in Denmark as well when we were over there, and it's actually really good coffee, but it's kind of more like a Starbucks in my opinion. It's not like super special. It's really good, and I really do enjoy it. Uh, but when you come to Sweden, it, it's worth checking out. But if you want more of like something that's not a chain, I definitely recommend going to more like cozy cafes and that sort of thing. Not that Espresso House isn't cozy, uh, but it's just kind of more or less the same thing to every single one that you go to. All right, I had to mention Espresso House because when I lived in North Shoping, I went to that place quite a bit. But with that being said, we're gonna finish off our list with the oldest cafe in Stockholm, which you can also find in the old town. 
right here in Old Town we have Stockholm's oldest cafe. It says 1785. So this one has been around longer, or almost as long as like America has been a country. That is insane. Uh, but it's got like pictures of like the old kings and paintings on the walls. Uh, it's a very interesting feel. So if you're looking for that sort of vibe, you can also check this one out here in Old Town. Before we wrap this video up, I just want to say that there are a ton of great Fika places in Stockholm that did not make this list. One honorable mention that I think is worth mentioning is my favorite cafe in Södermalm, the Petrus Bakery. They have really amazing Fika treats, so if you're in Södermalm and need a good place to have Fika, I definitely recommend checking that one out. But with that, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope that you found it very informational and I hope that inspires you to go out and get some great Fika. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to press that subscribe button and I would really appreciate it if you followed me on Instagram as well. And with that guys, I will see you hopefully in the next video.